Uh, what's your name? My name is Ricardo Laguna. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I am here at TJ Lavin's house for the first time, actually, without a bike on top of the Roland to catch up with the legend. How you doing, TJ? Good, how are you? I am doing fantastic. Let me tell you something. I'm actually honored that I'm interviewing you. I know you and I have been friends. We had a lot of conversations up here, but this is the time where I ask you questions and maybe get a little awkward. All right, well, fair enough. So with no further ado, TJ Lavin, uh, you won X Games, Gravity Games. Uh, now you're doing MTV challenges, I believe 14 of seasons, maybe, yeah. give or take. Uh, you have a crazy paradise that who knows how many people has ridden here. What can you tell us that has been the craziest stories on top of this rolling? Uh, well, actually, the craziest stories were not necessarily on top of this roll-in, but they were falling down this roll-in. That's, that's been some of the crazier stories, and there's been some late nights up here, and myself and Carrie when he lived with me. And he used to be a next-door neighbor. He, he, was my, he was actually my roommate for a long time, and then he we moved him next door, and we had some great times, and we used to have late nights up here. And there's been a couple times where people have, like, done the roll-in challenge let's say right? <laughs> the bro like, that doesn't sound very uh um, comforting we'd be at the party and they'd be like yeah i think i can do that man i think i got that and i was like all right let's go and we come up here and there'd be like guys with diamonds on and everything else trying to drop in uh, can you tell us a couple names that ran this place i mean i'm pretty sure i heard even Travis pastrana doesn't ride bmx bikes yeah. ran this place on a motorcycle or on a bmx no, no. bike pastrana came by and we had uh we had him and the whole nitro crew and they they rode uh mountain bikes and things like that. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I mean, Pastrana Road here, um, Corey Anastasio is a very big standout. Hucker, Mike Hucker Clark. Oh, that is right. He's awesome, he's fun, fuzzy. Um, pretty much any pro dirt jumper in the last 10 years has ridden here. So I've fallen on my head a fair bit of times, but I think I have one vision that I will never forget. Corey Boham was on top of this rolling and you said to him, there's been no one that's done the whole yard in one run. Right. Did he do it? Yes. Or am I dreaming about this? He no. Was he, the one he and only? It. He's the one and only guy who's ever gotten through the entire yard first try. And he was following somebody, so it's kind of cheating. But... <laughs> so, Cody, well, I'm sorry, yeah. we just took that away from you. No, 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 I'm not taking it away because he's the only one, because a lot of people follow people. Right. But gauge at least he had a those. gauge, yeah. He had a gauge, so it was a little bit, a little bit cheating, but it wasn't cheating at all, dude. Like, it's it's hard to get through this whole entire yard, like, if you miss I it for a couple it. weeks. Yeah, I know, I you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> See, he tells it how it is. That's I'm it. okay with facts. <laughs> as it. long as he's not lying, I'm okay with the facts. <laughs> so, uh, maybe a little sensitive subject. Due to her a couple years ago, you took a big hit. Uh, possibly one of the scariest crashes I've ever seen in my whole career. Actually, just watching action sports. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Let you know, the viewers know. Sure, sure. I mean, it was a, uh, it was my last contest, and uh, it was at the Hard Rock, and it was supposed to be kind of like you know my swan song, for instance. You know, I'm just hey, let's just go out there and just have some fun and see if we can't make a run at it. And my first run, I killed it. I was like, man, this is pretty good. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna going. find out yeah. the right way that I want it. Yeah, man. Like Superman C. No, nope. tail whip on the and last three set. the last set. Like I felt like, oh man, this could be a good night. And then, uh, so then my second run, I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back a little. That was pretty good. I'm just gonna take it back a little and just do a real easy run. And it was gonna be a knack knack tire grab to can can. And when I did something the you do while you're asleep, by I would have, I would have did it naked if you'd have told me like, let's do this. So knack knack tire grab, come back, and I miss my hand. And then the rest is history. I get knocked out, head whipped the, the ground real hard and had brain injury. And then it was two and a half years of recovery. So uh, not a lot of people know this. Uh, you actually got back out here after that tragic fall. And you were a true soldier. And I saw you even do backflips 360. Uh, do you see yourself redeeming in the last maybe contest or that's it? You know what, I, I, I don't want to say, you know, yeah, I see myself going into a contest, but I don't want to say never again, because, you know, man makes never plans. Never and never, yeah. Man makes plans and God laughs, dude. Like, just, <laughs> I like that, yeah, I like that. So, 
you know, I, I, and I, I'm not even a religious guy. I'm just saying that that's how it goes, you know? Just, you, you make a plan and, and there's just, there's everything in the world that's gonna go against that plan. So I'm just not gonna ever retire. I'm never gonna say, yeah, I'm done with this and I'm done with that. I mean, hopefully I won't have to go back into contests and ever see that thing again. <laughs> but you just never know. I might have an itch one day and just decide that. So we just gotta go with, we gotta take it day by day. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna take it day by day. You know, I never thought that I'd do a triathlon. And I did a triathlon in, in, in November. No way! Yeah, I did dude. not like, know that. I can't I can't even run to the stop sign and I I, I you know I Which, ran. Which by the way it's about hundred yards from here. I swam and biked and rode and ran and like with so, Fuzzy and Nyquist. I mean, who would think that me, Fuzzy and Nyquist would be in Hawaii doing a triathlon with I, my I, new wife? Like, <laughs> I think you'd be lying what? to me. Yeah. W so. Were you wearing spandex, dude? Uh, no, I was wearing a, a tri suit, but it's kind of, kind of spandexy. <laughs> well, can it's we spandexy. find some photos of this? Mm, probably not. <laughs> he knows how to get it done. So uh, another thing that actually a lot of people might know, you make music, you produce the music, and uh, if I recall correctly, you actually made an album. Yeah, yeah, I've made a few albums actually. Like I, I, uh, I have like one on iTunes. I didn't put it under my real name. And then so I put the do real you want one. People know? Yeah, it's yeah. called Labs, the first set, and that's you know it's over 10 years old, but it's it's really cool. I mean, I have fun. That's that's real, real professional. I, I know, mean, Ricardo. I forgot to turn my ringer off. Just keeping it real. Hey, so uh, so then no, uh, I, I made an album called Labs, the first set, and that was like about 10 years ago, and it was really cool, and uh, it was a fun thing to do. It was a fun project, and it was everything that I ever dreamed of in an album. And then I built another album, and then I never released it. I just kept it. And then Stephen Murray, our friend, got hurt so bad that I released something under my real name so that people could find it real easy, download it, and then the money would go to him. Oh, that's so, great. So all the yeah. proceeds went to yeah, straight yeah, yeah, to him. Yeah, straight to him. It was the soldier album. What's the next thing, being married to a lovely lady, which, by the way, I love hanging out with her. She snowboards. Yeah. You found, like, the, the perfect girl that supposedly is not out there. No nah, man, she is the perfect girl. She's really cool. She's very down uh, to ride motorcycles, BMX. She'll even like r jump on a bicycle. You know, what I mean, if you wanted to try it out. Wow. She's, she's into. It. She's she's a badass chick. That's right all there is to it. So I had to lock it down. Hey, a smart man right there. Yeah, that's it. So let's let's wind it down. Uh, after all this crazy life of yours, that anybody would give a pinky to be you even with the hurdles they have dealt. What's next for TJ Lavin? What do you see, like, becoming more of a producer, learning, which by the way, I want to learn how to play the piano, and I've seen you play the piano. Maybe one of those days I can get a lesson. Uh, I know real estate possibly in the making. Uh, I overheard, I don't know if I'm right, maybe in horses too. What's next? Yeah, I mean, we have a horse actually. It lives across town right now. Um, I, I, I don't know what is next. I'm just going to keep on going with the flow and whatever comes next down the pike, then that's what I'm going to do. So it's just, I just keep on, on just keep on moving, you know? Like, uh, fitness is real big right now for me. Uh, I love fitness. I love doing the yoga and the Pilates and the kettlebell. Are you doing hot yoga or regular yeah, yoga? Yeah, yeah, hot. Um, I, I like, uh, everything's hot. Vegas is not hot enough. Nah, nah. I do, <laughs> I do Vegas hot. It's a place on Rainbow. It's real cool. And uh, I go there a lot. And then I just started messing around with a little bit of CrossFit stuff. So I like that a lot and pull ups and whatever. I, fitness is real cool. I mean, we're going to film another season of my show. Oh, so that'll be cool. The, the challenge? Yeah, yeah. The oh, challenge. So we're going to go to the 15th now. Yeah, so that'll be really cool. Um, uh, that's gonna be somewhere. I don't have no idea where in the world. Somewhere so, lovely, yeah, and beautiful it'll be world. Sick. And then, okay. And then I'll just wake surf all summer again. I love wake surfing. And uh, which, by the way, has never invited me. I never made the cut. Yes, I'm gonna throw him under the bus. No, yeah. <laughs> so then, Mexican people do swim well. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, 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 no. My my chick is good at it, man. You should see her wake wake surf. She's really really good at it. You probably will never see her, but she's really good at it, though. Really and sick. this is coming so from then, a guy supposed to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so. TJ, thank you so much, no man. Problem. I appreciate thank it. You, Always an honor. <laughs> <laughs>